The racist comments made by Nelson Piquet against Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes, which have recently acquired popularity in social media, have been condemned by Formula One. When discussing the race between the seven-time champion and Max Verstappen at Silverstone on a Brazilian podcast in 2021, Piquet referred to Hamilton in a racial slur. Despite the podcast being recorded in November, it was just recently discovered on social media channels and F1 denounced Piquet's behavior. Language that's racist or discriminatory is never appropriate. It has no place in society. Lewis is a fantastic representative of our sport and is deserving respect. Read the declaration. His relentless efforts to promote diversity and inclusiveness are an inspiration to many, and F1 is dedicated to continuing them. Welcome to Formula Zone, your daily summary of quick news in the Formula 1 scene. In this video, we'll be talking about the recent attacks on Lewis Hamilton coming from the insiders of the Formula 1. Mercedes also responded to the video. We condemn in the strongest terms any use of racist or discriminatory language of any kind. Lewis has spearheaded our sport's efforts to combat racism and he's a true champion of diversity on and off track. Together, we share a vision for a diverse and inclusive motorsport, and this incident underlines the fundamental importance of continuing to strive for a brighter future. Three-time Formula One champion Piquet won the championship in 1981, 1983, and 1987 with Brabham and Williams respectively. F1 has not yet said whether it'll punish Piquet for his remarks, but if it did decide to take a position, it might limit him access to the paddock. Following the restart of racing amid the COVID-19 outbreak and the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police officers, the championship launched its hashtag WeRaceAsOne project to raise awareness of social issues around the world and encourage a more sustainable championship. For the 2022 season, the pre-race gesture on the grid that was used in the 2020 and 2021 campaigns was eliminated. The Hamilton Commission was established by Hamilton to examine the relative absence of minority participation in racing. Hamilton has spearheaded numerous attempts to enhance diversity within Formula One and the larger motorsports sector. The organization's report, which was the result of 10 months of research into motorsport and education, contained suggestions for raising the level of diversity among people involved in racing. With Accelerate 25, Mercedes also unveiled its own effort to support the delivery of targeted educational activities to people from underrepresented backgrounds and foster their interest in STEM fields. However, this was not the first controversial news about Lewis in the past week. After a luckluster start to the 2022 season, former F1 supremo Bernie Ecclestone recommended Lewis Hamilton to accept a 20 million pound payout and leave the sport. Only six in the driver's standings, Hamilton trails George Russell, a new teammate for Mercedes by 34 points. At this weekend's British Grand Prix, the British driver who's still without a victory this season may go 10 races without a Grand Prix triumph for the first time in his career. Ecclestone was the figurehead of F1 for nearly 40 years before moving aside when Liberty Media completed their takeover of the sport in 2017. The former F1 boss gave his opinion on Hamilton's form and his future in the sport. Lewis might sell his position to Toto Wolff, Mercedes team principal, he told the Daily Mail. This is how much I'm getting. I'll step down and give me half of what I would get. Toto can go and do one of his magic deals, offer someone less money and keep 20 million pounds. Nobody needs to tell Toto this because he has already thought of it. Lewis would probably stop under those circumstances. I don't know what he's doing dressing up in all those funny clothes. He has a deal to it. Is it to get noticed? Maybe that's it. We may not soon know why Lewis is suddenly attacked like this. The biggest reason will be that people who stick their heads above the ground are always attacked. Despite everything, the sport here has to do with a living legend who can still compete at the highest level in the sport. With seven world championships, he has proven enough for the outside world, and we're curious if Mercedes can offer him the car to break the record forever. 